In other news tonight, the man who may have had some answers in the disappearance of Susan Powell has passed away up in the state of Washington. The Pierce County Sheriff's Office says that Stephen Powell, the father of Josh Powell, passed away at a Tacoma hospital where he'd been for the last few days. Powell was in the father-in-law of Susan Cox Powell. You see her there. She disappeared from her home in West Valley back in 2009. Stephen was released from prison last July after serving time for child pornography. He had also been convicted of voyeurism. Now, continuing our coverage on this story, Susan's case has never been closed, according to West Valley City Police. Her father still believes Stephen Powell knew what happened to their daughter nine years ago. News for Utah's Marcus Ortiz tells us Chuck Cox isn't about to let this case disappear. With the death of Stephen Powell, the father of Susan Cox Powell says they'll make one last effort to see if he left any secrets behind. I didn't want them to have my journals. There's some very embarrassing things in my journals. And that was the beginning of the end for Stephen Powell. Months later, those journals led to his arrest. He was later charged and convicted of child pornography and sentenced to prison. But he never offered police any help in finding Susan Cox Powell. She disappeared in 2009. Her husband, Josh Powell, Stephen's son, was the prime suspect, but he was never charged with any crime. Yesterday, Powell died at a Washington State hospital. It's sad that, uh, that things have turned out for him the way they did, that he made choices that he did, and uh, that it's you know, affected his whole family. Chuck and Judy Cox are the parents of Susan, who's never been found. Police in Washington say Josh Powell killed his two sons before setting the home on fire and dying in the blaze. And with Stephen Powell's death, Cox says he took secrets with him to the grave. I have no doubt. I never expected him to uh, tell us what he knew. At the time, Kent Morgan was a prosecutor with the Salt Lake District Attorney's Office. And while some criticized the office for never prosecuting Josh Powell after Susan's disappearance, he says it was impossible. The main reason is uh, uh, the requirement of a deceased body in a murder. Uh, in fact, that's one of the uh, principles of uh, prosecution. But Cox isn't finished with Stephen Powell. He says police in Washington plan to search Powell's property one last time. See if he left any, any clues behind, you know, or any, maybe, maybe wrote a, some kind of a, a note or something to his family or to the people, to us, who knows. A spokesman for the West Valley Police Department says that the case has gone cold, but there's still a detective assigned to it. And should any new information arise, well, they'll reopen the case. In West Valley, Marcus Ortiz, News for Utah.